Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan Relating to Traveling Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari, recording for the Daily Reminder Network. This is part two of the previous episode where we discussed the etiquettes and sunan of traveling. I would like to start off by reminding ourselves that the supplications of a traveler are answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as was reported to us by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So as believers, let us seize this amazing opportunity whenever we travel to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to our maker as much as possible. We should always make it a point to remember our maker wherever we are, however we travel, be it by air, by land or by water. It is also from the pure sunnah of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, based on the narration recorded in Bukhari and Muslim, to return immediately after the task that you set out for is completed. Next in line is that whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, pitched camp somewhere, he would read, أَعُوذُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّاتِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقِ أَعُوذُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّاتِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقِ I seek refuge in the perfect words of Allah from the evil that has been created. The individual, the believer who reads this with firm conviction, nothing, nothing will harm him unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will so. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is also reported to have said that the individual who returns home in the night should not disturb his family unless he has already informed them of his arrival. So no surprise visits in the middle of the night. Just imagine if you're just about to sleep 12 o'clock midnight and somebody rings the bell. Obviously, you're going to get annoyed. There's a lot of wisdom behind the instructions of the Prophet peace be upon him. As at times, if one's family is not aware of his or her arrival, they may not be prepared. They may not be in a state, a proper state to welcome that individual uh, in the best of manners. So it's always best to inform one's family prior to one's arrival. Finally, according to the narration in Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet wasallam, in general, upon his return, would go directly to the masjid first, offer two units of prayer, and only then head home. And whenever the Prophet wasallam, bade farewell to someone, he would pray for them by saying, أَسْتَوْدِعُ اللَّهَ دِينَكَ وَأَمَانَتَكَ وَخَوَاتِيمَ عَمَلِكَ أَسْتَوْدِعُ اللَّهَ دِينَكَ وَأَمَانَتَكَ وَخَوَاتِيمَ عَمَلِكَ I place your religion, your trustworthiness and the ends of your deeds, of your affairs in the responsibility of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that, we conclude today's episode. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, please do not forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Support the Dawah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.